Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a different location with a special guest, my best friend. Hi guys. Miss Cory Jo. Today we're gonna weird. do a little, <laughs> today we're gonna do a get ready with me video. We're gonna do it together and yeah. Okay, so we're just we're just jumping right into this. So okay. what is your first step of your routine? I always prime my face and I use the baby skin because I like to hide my pores. Okay. Just saying. And I am too going to moisturize my skin. We're gonna go in with the Tatcha Balance Pore Perfecting Gel. So Sarah found it really neat that I use these, oh god, applicator sp sponges, sponges. <laughs> <laughs> these applicator sponges and I wet them because Mario Dedabonovic told me to do that in his class. He didn't tell me, but he recommended it. She's like, I have so many of these. Yeah, I have a bunch and I never use them because I thought that like, you basically just use them dry. And I was like, well, that's just gonna soak up all my product, you know, so. Don't, yeah. don't you remember back in the day when you would like tip your foundation into these sponges? Oh my gosh, yeah. And your sponge was literally like the next day, I know this is kind of grody, but like the next day. Hard. I would take the sponge and wet it a little bit and just take whatever was left over. Really? And like put yeah, put it on my face, especially if I didn't have like a lot of product left. I would do that. Yeah, I, I was great back then. <laughs> I would just use it the one day and then toss it, really. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. I went through a lot of them <laughs> in my teenage years, like a lot of those white sponges, like a pack every couple weeks. I'm pretty much pretty sure about that. Okay, so what do you do next? Next, I'm going to go in with Benefit Erase Paste in Medium. This is the peachy one, and I'm going to put this underneath my eyes. Because I got some dark circles going on. We've been staying up late, partying hard. <laughs> oh, I do my eyebrows next. Really? For real. That's like my thing. I have to do eyebrows next. But like, seriously, look at the difference in the color. Oh, for real? Yeah, like it's good stuff, and it's like just a little bit... Just a, goes you know, a long way. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Sneaking in that Luke's cup. God, Gilmore Girls. This might be a spoiler video just because we have such mixed reviews. We we watched it. That's why Sarah's here, guys. Sarah was so gracious enough. <laughs> we kind of make it like an annual thing now. It's yeah. Like third like, year in a row now? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Every year I come up for Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving and we get to spend some quality bestie time. For together. real. And this year was the Gilmore Girl Revival, mm -hmm. and I don't know, we just have such mixed reviews. We won't give no anything away. No spoilers or anything. Even though I'm like, really wanting to. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. I don't even, I don't know if I can even talk about it. I'm so upset. It's, <laughs> yeah. Let's just put it this way. The ending was pretty much the same as the original show. Like, it just leaves us hanging with wanting more. Yeah, and I don't know if the director did that purposely to like maybe have a revival series. I'm hoping, because that's the only way I'm going to feel like... You know, my answers, my prayers have been answered. <laughs> yeah, like they need to do another full, like four episodes, but they need to answer questions this time instead of making new problems and giving us more, you know, making us have more questions about what's going on and stuff. Yeah. Like there were good parts, like don't get us wrong. For real. We cried almost every episode. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I cried every episode, like a little baby over there in the corner, like, oh my gosh. What made it really, really awkward is <clears throat> obviously Kenny lives with me because we're boyfriend and girlfriend, but like Kenny was coming out onto the couch and me and Sarah like we're just crying. I'm trying to hide my face because I'm like, I'm an ugly crier and I'm an ugly Kenny crier. does not need to see that side of me yet. Like, <laughs> we are not in that level of friendship yet with him. <laughs> like, get out of here. <laughs> like, this is a personal moment between us. Dad. Okay, I'm going to go in with foundation. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte shade 102. This is a little bit too dark for me. What do you have? 102? 103. 103. I was like, you are a little bit darker than me, but 102 is an okay shade for me, but pretty much a little too dark. I really, I didn't think I'd like the Pro Matte as much as I do, but I actually like it better than the Dewy just because I feel like the Dewy makes me a grease ball after, but I really mm -hmm. want the Dewy look half the time. Yeah, well, see, that's why I add highlighter on top to give me like a more, like Glow natural look. look. Yeah, like to, so I'm not just total straight matte, you know. I'm using my Morphe MB8, which is my favorite foundation brush of all time. So now I'm done with just stenciling out my eyebrows, and of course I use that with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. 
I use a uh, soft brown in the beginning part and then dark brown as always on the outer and I'm gonna conceal and carve out my eyebrows I'm using the bye bye under eye oh my god you really need to try this didn't you have eye I pickups I have the wet n wild come correct concealer which is like similar to that I heard Uh, Kathleen Lights mentioned that they were dupes and so I picked up the Wet n Wild one and it's like super thick and it's got amazing coverage but I feel like I just don't need that much on like a regular day-to-day -day basis unless I've got like a major zit that I'm trying to cover up. <laughs> In that case yeah I break it out and go to town but Sarah likes to use primers okay. like actual primers for stuff but again my biggest fear is a primer <laughs> really I don't even know how to explain it like it just doesn't work as intended for me like eyeshadow primers oh, yeah. but that's why I'm so intrigued to try the Mac I think it's long eyeshadow long-lasting pot shadows in the shade okra ochre soft ochre yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mac pink pop there you go yeah I'm really intrigued to try that one yeah it doesn't like I know like two big youtubers that use that I just feel like it does the same as a concealer. It literally is just a concealer with a different name. Yeah. So. Mark, mark, mark. And then after I do this, I set it with the Kat Von D, which I'm really, really liking. Do you smell everything? Um. Sometimes. Like, this foundation has a scent to it. It's like, um. Like, have you ever smelled it? It's kind of like a chemically smell, but it also feels like it has a little bit of a floral scent to it. I don't know. Hmm. I don't... That's what bothers me when stuff so has, much. like, mm -hmm. too much of a rosy smell. Yeah. See, look. I'm basically going drag right now. <laughs> you are okay. not. <laughs> you see how I got, like, a lot of powder on it, though? Yeah. That's where I go back in with that. <laughs> Give me brow. This is like my new stuff I'm talking to Sarah about. I absolutely love it. If you guys don't have it, definitely go out and get it. Um, my shade is in number three, but it's the Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. It is like the next step in my makeup routine. And it just, it's now a part of my life. God, I love Age Rewind. Age Rewind, Maybelline Age Rewind, Dark Circle Eraser. I have to use this. Cover up them bags. <laughs> I'm getting old, y'all. Oh, whatever. What's one thing you're like dying to try? Like makeup ways that I'm dying to try? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so many things. Like I want to try all the Jeffree Star stuff. I don't have anything by him. I really like his Velour liquid lipsticks. I really want to try one of those because I feel like I would really like them. I really love matte liquid lipsticks. So that's my favorite formula. The Kat Von D oh, metal yeah. matte palette. Oh yeah. my gosh. The colors in it look so so gorgeous I I like melted as soon as I saw it I was like I have to have this because <laughs> I you know there's neutrals in it but there's colors in it too and I really love color you know like she's definitely daring shadows and stuff definitely daring sexy mama translucent powder my look how much pan I've hit on this thing <laughs> this like light. I have definitely used a bunch of this <laughs> Yeah, so once I've done this and I've split them, then I go into eyeshadow. I do my face last. Yeah, I think so everyone has a step. Yeah, you know? everybody has their own like routine and steps. They're all different for everybody. See, I like to do my face first because then I have time to think about what eye look I'm gonna do to like go with what I'm wearing. I like to match my eyeshadow with my look because I'm a weirdo like that. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I do. Okay, once I powder, mm -hmm. I do eyeshadow, or eye brows, brows, eyebrows. That's the word. Burk, 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 the word. word. Burk, burk, burk. I'm going to go in with the Peak Beauty um, Natural Stain Brow Powder in Espresso. Espresso. And I'm thinking of doing the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette today. Gosh, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, wait, she's doing it. I want to see. 
Like you see the difference? Ooh. And when I brush it through, it like distributes it a little bit better. Oh, I really like that. It's mm -hmm. more natural, the powder, I think. Mm -hmm. We had our whole big Gilmore Girls blowout. Like we got all the snacks from the show. We had pizza, Mallow Mars, Red Vines, oh the God. whole works. This girl here, she totally hooked it up. She's the best. <laughs> Oh my god, I got way too dark on this brow. Let me see. Like, this is super uh, oh dark. Well. <laughs> I'm like, just over here going to town. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I need to even this out now. <laughs> we have some major power brows today, y'all. Like, hey baby. I'm going <clears throat> real smoky here. Oh yeah, definite power brows today, but it's all good. Going with it. <laughs> We're gonna roll. <clears throat> Elf, I'm gonna contour. I'm using the Elf contour palette. Do you get hate comments on your videos? No, not yet. But I'm waiting for it. I feel like I want I want you guys to have constructive criticism to like. Well, don't get too cruel. With it, but <laughs> don't get too criticism. Criti <laughs> <laughs> don't go too crazy with them. I just I don't know. Like my channel's been kind of quiet. They're always. I mean, you guys are really really supportive, which I really like. But I think like I want you more to just. Like, if, God, I'm mumbling. To if hear more criticism, like constructive criticism, we really need that. Or I feel like I really need it at times. Or just like, if there's a product out there that, you know, you want me to review, definitely comment down below and we will try to get that to you because I love, there's products out there that, you know, I'm usually just so set to my ways. And like I said, if something works, I try to keep to it. But if there's a product out there that, you know, you guys love, I want to try it too because I feel like everyone needs to help each other out. Yeah, like everybody has different tastes and has tried different products and it works different for everybody, but it's nice to you know, share your just, love for yeah, something. See what's out there. And I don't hear about every product, so yeah. So how is my black eyes going? <laughs> You're going smoky, girl. I'm, I like I'm it. Looking like a big bruise, but you'll smoke it out and blend it out and look good. I feel like my contour is looking funky. Something Milani Luminoso, something glowy, something purdy. We're trying to cut grease. Do you ever switch up your routine and like do something in a different order? Um, kind of not really. Just because like I feel like if I do my eyes first, it's gonna, I'm not gonna have as much fallout. I didn't realize how much fallout I had before. Yeah. And now like I'm just, I'm subconscious about it, I guess. Yeah. I've tried doing my eyes before, but like it always makes me feel weird. Like, I don't know. It's just never been my routine to do it like that, so when I do it, I don't know. I feel like everything's backwards. It throws you off. Yeah, like it throws me off. I'm gonna put powder on this and really cut it out. You going like, glam. We're doing it. Doing it. Okay, oops, sorry. I've never done this before. I cut crease? Like this, nope. Ooh, I know, right? Highlighter, I'm gonna use Wet n Wild, Desert Explorations, Geometric Highlighter. We just saw this in the store the other day and she was like, I have it. And I was like, oh my God, it looks really cool to try. And I brought it. Like, what are the odds? Okay. It's just like a subtle highlight, but I like it. Do you ever wear the shirt that you put makeup on out, or do you change? Um, like when I get ready in the mornings, or just in general? In general. Yes, in general I wear the shirt that I'm going to wear for the day and put my makeup on. Like okay. typically if it's just me in my bathroom getting ready, I just wear a tank top mm -hmm. and do my makeup in that. And then I'll put my shirt on at the end and leave, but... 
like when I do videos and stuff, I'll wear whatever shirt I'm wearing. And <clears throat> Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Get a big pout going on. I could be messing this up. Not really for sure. Hey, makeup is all about exploring and trying new things and seeing what works and what doesn't. Well, this might not be definitely be not working, but I'm not really <laughs> sure. I'm gonna go with it. Blend, blend, blend. Oh my gosh, I know I cut it out of my videos, but there is so much blending going on behind the scenes. Oh my gosh. Like, I cut it down really short because I know you don't want to watch me blend for like 20 minutes. But that's pretty much what I do. <laughs> it's like non-stop life. Yeah. I feel like I need a champagne color, maybe. <clears throat> okay. Trying to think what I do next? Okay. I'm gonna do my eyeballs. Urban Decay Primer Potion. First time trying this. Bestie here gifted me one. Do you think you can put makeup on with, like, the No Mirror Challenge? Have you done that one? Um, yes. <laughs> I recorded it twice actually. Once when I had my channel going like over a year ago, mm -hmm. I recorded one and I uploaded it to my channel but it was so long and the quality was awful and I was orange because I recorded in my bathroom without lights and stuff and I looked terrible. I looked like an Oompa Loompa so oh. I never posted that one. And I recorded another one recently actually like a couple weeks ago but somehow my camera messed up and put it like in a different like I put it in portrait mode instead of landscape mode oh that sucks so I couldn't post it because I was sideways the whole time or whatever it didn't work but I did it like the look turned out pretty good like I was able to oh. wear it out I was so surprised my eyebrows were a little funky I drew them a little high and I had some fallout and like there were a few little issues but I could correct them and I was able to do that and wear it out and I was really impressed with myself, actually. I was like, I could totally do this if I was just, you know, somewhere without a mirror. Hey, hey. Do or something like, basic, yeah. I don't know how people do it in their car. You know what I mean? Do it? I mean, oh. their makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Sounded like I was saying something else if you were to cut it. If Brad drives, if we're, like, going to a holiday dinner and we're running late and Brad drives, I'll do my makeup in the car. Mm -hmm. Eyeliner, eyebrows, mascara, the whole works. And... Sometimes I have to wait until we stop, though, because eyeliner everywhere. Not a good look. Okay, I'm going to do a little setting spray. I do setting spray before I do my eyeshadow look. I did not know that about you. Yeah, I don't always use setting spray. Uh-huh. But, I don't know. I feel like today I'm... You're I'm feeling it. Hard candy, fast and fabulous. Oh my god, that's a lot of pigment, but we're going in. So what do you think? I think it's looking good. <laughs> when you know your best friend, <laughs> we'll sit there and be like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Looking real, looking real sharp. Looking good. Looking real good. Looking real good. I don't know what I want to do. I was going to go for like a... I shouldn't do green because that's what I'm wearing. Like that's my shirt. But I feel like but I almost what... I almost always wear a green look with this green shirt. I feel like we're getting somewhere with this now. Okay, so if I don't do green, what am I gonna do? I think you should do gold. Gold, okay. Reflect off the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I like that. I like that. A little Got natural. your gold look, like your gold orangey look. For, was it Funky colors. Funny. Like a fun and funky tutorial? Yeah, like it was, um, it was like the orange gold one. I was like living for that that day. I was like, how the frick does she do it? Because that is seriously my life, my life goal. Oh, and you can use King Tut. Don't mind me. Just, just gonna just grab this real quick. Nice cool King Tut. You I know, right? Oh my god. Oh my Amazing. God. 
I'm just gonna creep in your drawers for just a minute. Go ahead, Don't creep. Mind me. Creep. Just a creep in. I need. <laughs> I almost got king cut all over the place. <laughs> I need to slow my roll. <laughs> okay, guys, I think I'm going to take Kush and put this on my lid. Oh, I love Kush. that color. Yes. Oh. I've got one that's like a, just like a matte taupey kind of color, and I'll put that all over the lid. And then Kush just in the middle for like a super natural, like quick, easy look. And it looks so pretty. Jouet. Jouet, girl. Mm. Mm -hmm. I let you do your thing. I'm just gonna look at everything you got. Shopping with Sarah. <laughs> I'm gonna shop Corey's stash over here. <laughs> <laughs> BRB. She's back. It's cool. I don't know. It's cool when you have friends that, like, you don't do liquid eyeliner that often. No, not really. I mean, I did bring one. But, yeah, I'm just not really into liquid Liquid. liner that much. I do more pencil liners. Oh my god, and I don't know how she does that. Especially for her top lid. It's like an art. (laughs) Just a little... (laughs) Seriously, it's like an art, and I'm sitting here like, oh my god. It just doesn't work for me like it does for other people. I'm gonna go with browns and gold. Just a little sense. I always don't talk when I'm doing my eyeliner. Is that weird? No, because I don't think I can talk when I'm doing my eyeliner either. When you're recording, like, do you, when you're doing like your eye, um, like your eye makeup in general, do you look up to make sure that you're like in frame? (laughs) And all the time. Yeah. All the time. I feel like I look up a lot whenever I'm trying to do my eyeshadow. And then I always wind up looking in the viewfinder versus the actual camera lens. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, especially when I'm doing swatches and stuff, I'll hold my hand up to the camera and then I'll look in the, like, my viewfinder part and make sure that everything's, like, in focus and stuff so that I'm never, like, looking at the camera when that's going on. Amy Winehouse, here we come. <laughs> I'm sad, kind of sad I don't have lashes. What, you have lashes? Are you crazy? Like falsies. I have not gone shopping. I want to try some actual like House of Lashes. But I've never tried any of those. But my problem with um, fake eyelashes is that the bands aren't always as comfortable. And that's what makes it irritating for a lot of people to like tolerate them and to give them a shot. And that's exactly where I'm at. Sorry, I'm so monotone. <laughs> I'm like that when I'm putting on eyeliner. You're good. I am not that experienced with false lashes because I feel like after I put mascara on, my lashes are plenty enough drama for me. But when I do wear falsies, my issue mainly is that they don't fit my eye shape. Like, they will pull up on one corner or the other. And Mm. I can never get them glued down enough, like, to stay. Even, like, no matter how much I, like, work with the band and everything, they just will not form to my eye very well. That is so me. Okay. And now I'm going to do my first. And, of course... Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal Paris in 103. Yes, girl. Yes. Oh my god, look what I just did. I feel like this is a lot, but I'm going for it because I always add extra anyway. I'm doing me. You do you. And you do you. And that's okay. And you do you. That's right. Now we're going to beat this mug. Girl, we need some grub. For real. We can get all made up and probably order in, right? <laughs> Stay at home with Papa a full John. face. I need to wet my beauty sponge. I feel like the one eye is darker than the other every single time, no matter what I do. <laughs> 
Do you get that too? Like you, you can't ever get everything just completely even? Oh, for sure. No even Stevens around here. I mean, like I try to make it as even as possible, but. I think okay. I'm going to add a little bit of the Born This Way to Faced. I'm going to go in first. Hold on. I need to do some swatches first. And it's going to be exactly like the King Cut. So they'll just blend together. This one. I think I'm just going to go in straight in with King Cut all over the lid. Just. I want to see this boldness. Go in bold. Oh, wait. Really? There's like nothing there. Maybe it's different for an eyeshadow brush. Okay, that's better. Oh my god. It looks really, really good. I really like that. Oh my god. It's so bold. Yeah, I'm totally digging it. It's like neutral but bold. My specialty. I did get the princess cut, guys, and the Regina George, and I just totally sprayed this all over your mirror. Oh, that's all good. Yeah, like, I don't contour on a daily basis, but I do use, like, a lot of makeup on a daily basis. Oh, my. Do I look blended? I look like orange. I don't. Sorry. <laughs> Whack. Whoosh. Love ya. <laughs> That's when you know somebody loves you. Okay, now a little something something for the lower lash line. Maybe I'll stay in this palette. Go for this. I don't even know what shades I'm using. What is this? Solas? What kind of name shades are these? Yeah. What kind of name shades are these? <laughs> <laughs> like, can't even pronounce them. I say I'm doing a double wing and then I don't. But what we're going to do is go in with some, what should we do? I feel like we should do ice cold. Could I borrow some of that? Jeffree Star is killed it with highlighters. Oh my gosh, yes. Now I'm gonna do my regular highlighting of the brow bone with my Lorac the Stylist palette. Lorac! Oh, yeah. Love Lorac. This is my go to, like, for a lot of stuff. <laughs> So you bronze and contour, right? Same thing for me, yeah. Like... I'm so confused. Okay. I consider it like the same thing in my mind. You use your bronzer for your contour? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because like that contour... Palette? Palette. I just use the darkest one to contour with, but I don't really ever bronze. Maybe I should. Maybe that would like make me look not so pale but I don't know I just it's an extra step I don't usually get to okay I'm gonna do the erase paste and, oh, and drop it girl that was a lot but it's for both I was like you're gonna have a lot oh yeah that is a lot <laughs> yeah like I use the tiniest amount it blends out so well oh my god like, guys so good I probably just took like three months worth out of this <laughs> no this jar. you're fine I feel like I'm just gonna curl my lashes I'm gonna skip eyeliner, curl my lashes, and do mascara. It covers so well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a really, really nice formula. For real, Emily Noel swears by that stuff, and as soon as I picked it up, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Life. Um, Mad Lash by the Balm Mascara. Oh. I am so in love with this stuff. I do not like the package though. Like, 
You can't oh. hey, a twist off. I need a twist off, okay? Can you make this in a twist off? Because that would be fabulous. Like I need this. Oh my God. I am so finicky with my eyelashes. I wish I wasn't. But I mean look at the difference this mascara makes. God, your eyelashes are so pretty too. Oh, that was my throat. Frogging it. Rip it. Rip. Making faces over here like, mm. what does this look like to you? <laughs> Cocaina. Co oh my god, I watched that movie last Did week. You? I, I love, love that movie. Yes. Oh my god. But Dazzled with Brennan Fraser was like yes. the movie back in the 90s, mm -hmm. and I had the biggest crush on Brennan Fraser. But it's so sad because now he looks like he's, you know. Was I talking to you about this the other day? No. That's one, that's one of my favorite movies though. No like, freaking way. Yes, it is. It is. Oh, Me and Brad call it all the time. Coplays doubles. What's that? Double copies. He takes pictures of his wife, like the guy oh, the wife, yeah. cheating on him. Yeah. And he's like, Coplays doubles. And he's like, Coplays doubles. <laughs> like you made double copies of this? Oh my gosh. New thing we just found out about each other. She thinks that Brendan Fraser is in every movie though. Like I'm serious. <laughs> I was <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Is that the one with Brendan Fraser? You're like, no. no. You think everybody has we Brendan Fraser? We were in the kitchen, like, cooking dinner the first day I'm here, and we started talking about movies. Because she's like a complete movie buff. And I say, like, I mentioned this one movie. She goes, Brendan Fraser's in that one, right? And I'm like, no. 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 Brendan Fraser's not in every movie. <laughs> oh, I do, really did not know that about Sarah. Oh my gosh freaking hilarious oh my gosh I was telling her about movies that like I was suggesting movies for her to watch like classic 80 90s movies whatever like stealing Harvard if you haven't watched that one amazing check it out um, there's like two others I can't Lone Star stay to mind or Lone Star stay or something I can't remember what it's even called I'm gonna have to look it up but it's a great movie I love it the guy gets his pinky finger cut off He's like, I lost my pinky finger. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, but she's like, Brendan Fraser's in that one, right? <laughs> I swear to God. I thought the Harvard one. He's in, like, the school one. I'm going to go in with Nars Orgasm and a little bit of Dallas from Benefit. And I think I'm going to just see what I get. I think that should balance each other out real good. Mm. I The only thing I don't like about this Mad Lash mascara is the end has this little brushy tip on it but I like rubbery bristle thing and it just collects product and I just don't like it. It's a formula. Amazing. If you're out on the road you lonely and so cold all you have to do is call my name. You let me hit that high note by myself? Oh my I god. I tried. It didn't not... come out. It, it, I swear. Like oh. Totally butchered it, too. You did not. It was Gosh. beautiful. Perfect. Do you ever use eyeshadow on your bottom lash line? I know you do, but like, do you use it often? Is it like a must? Like, eyeliner is a must for me? No, honestly... I mean, I wear it, I always say I wear it half the time. It depends on, like, on my day-to-day -day basis. It depends on if I've got time for it, which typically I don't, because that's, like, the last thing before mascara. And I know it takes me forever to do mascara. Like, it's taken me, like, ten minutes, I think, to do mascara just now. But, um, so I always have to give myself ample time for that. But, I don't know. It depends on what look I'm doing. If it's natural, then no. They're your droopy ones? They're the droopy ones. But I can't really fix it, so... I mean, like, I feel like the more I add, the worse it's gonna get. So I'm just gonna go with this for now. Hmm. Okay. Next, I'm putting on highlight, and I'm going in with Jeffree Star's Peach Goddess. Sarah needs this in her life. Like, we swatched it on her yesterday. I about, like... Died. Just, I died. I died. There. Too much? Can so pretty. Oh, no, it's never too much. Okay, well, some people go a little too far, but oh my god, it looks so pretty. 
Okay, what are you using? Because I'm using the CoverGirl Lip Perfection in the shade Beloved, which is 225. I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Pink, which I really need to sharpen. It's like grouching my lip. But I'm just lining my lips to give it like a little bit of a base because I'm going to do like a dark lip. But I don't think I have any dark lip liner with me, so... Just working with what I got. Do you ever feel like you don't line your lips, right? Oh my gosh. I don't usually line my lips. Only whenever I do like a really dark lip. Um, but like I feel like when I do my lipstick that I do draw outside the lines a little bit or too much or whatever. Like I feel like I screwed up a lot because I don't feel like my lip line is that defined and it's one side's lower than the other, like Cupid's bow wise. So I feel like I try to correct it and then I <laughs> fuck it up. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Jonesing by ColourPop for my lippy. It's a cream, it is discontinued, so I apologize about that, but. And guys, I'm gonna be going in one of the new Coco collection by Kylie, and I think I'm gonna use that nude shade, not the lip gloss, but like the actual matte, which should be, oh, I think it's Clo Money. Hello, money. I'm totally yep. even this up. You even it? Mm. This is why I can't do dark shades. It's so creamy and so slippery. <laughs> <laughs> I might mix two colors because I'm not like loving this shade. Going in with Candy K because I like Candy K. I think it's really pretty nude. My bangs are totally doing something weird. I'm like making funny faces over here. Oh, I really I like that lip. Freaked up my lip. It's mm. all messed up, like, everywhere. I'm going to have to totally clean it up. I really like it, though. You look like Snow White. And I mean that in the most nicest way because, like, it looks so good against your skin. That color. It makes my teeth look yellow. Mm -mm. Well, I have you been drinking well. coffee, so... Okay, I am going in with the same setting spray. Use this one, right? Oh, yeah. The Fast and Fabulous. Yeah, yeah we're going in. Okay. Don't blink. Don't move. I blinked. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel. Also, subscribe subscribe to Corey's <laughs> channel. I'll have her linked in the description box below as well as all the usernames for our Twitters, our Instagram, Yeah, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'll list that down below as well. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and for hanging out with us today. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, Bye. everyone. <laughs> <laughs>